outsiders. Why did this happen? What have we gotten ourselves into? I devoted two years to optimizing that blasted mana line. I even immersed myself into it to confirm its path to the emergency shelter. So why? Um... What's the matter, my lady? I can't help but feel disgusted at myself. My lady, there's absolutely no reason to feel that way. When I was a child, father always told me stories about the Outer Pole and the people who live here. Father always made it sound like it was worlds away, so much that I thought manaless lands were a myth. But after what the proprietor just told us, I I just can't help but feel disgusted at myself for feeling fortunate for having been born in Rehizawagad. Fortunate for never having experienced the hardships of living a life without the convenience of mana craft. That's the first thing I felt, too. Not empathy for the people or a desire to help, but how fortunate I was to be born ignorant of their suffering. I'm so selfish, Ratona, so selfish, it makes me sick to my stomach. Ignorance is bliss, they say, but how can I rule Ruhuzawa God if I'm blind to the suffering that goes on beyond our walls? You cannot expect to feel helpless if you've never been subjected to an experience that would evoke helplessness. Even if we possess the capacity to help these people, we have to set our priorities straight. Supplying them with mana to ensure their survival is not one of them. Everything is a distraction until we return to Ruzurigard, my lady. I know, Ratona, but I can't shake this feeling of self-loathing. You know, Ratona? My lady? The world... It isn't so small after all. Indeed. To be honest, I couldn't help but feel the same, my lady. Is this gonna be Pigtail Girl? Okay, how do I actually want her to sound? Oh, but excuse me. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry if I surprised you. Oh, I bit my tongue. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, you sure got my pulse up. I couldn't sense her presence before she spoke up. How did she do it? I know this will sound weird coming from a stranger, but if you don't mind me asking, are you two visiting from another place? Um, well, uh... Oh, uh, oh, they're looking at me funny. They totally think I'm a creep. Oh, uh, gosh. Oh, where are my nanners? My name is... Um... Your name is... Oh, uh, my name is Ru Rune. Again, I'm really sorry if I scared you. Um, do you think you two could forgive me if I took you both on a tour of the city? Wait a second, your name is Rurun? Uh, no. Oh, sorry about the stutter. It's just Rune. I know, I'm just teasing. I suppose teasing someone for stuttering is still humorous to Selphine. I know it's a real odd request to make of strangers, but there's something about you two I just can't wrap my tongue around. Wait, that came wrong. What is wrong with this girl? Well, we'd love to take you up on your offer, you obviously have an ulterior motive concealed under the guise of charity. What are you really after? I'm not after anything, really. Uh, you make it sound like I'm gonna entrap you and rob you of your gallows or something. Who would do that? Um... Actually, that's a lie. I admit, I do have a little bit of an ulterior motive. I'm just cementing the image of a creepier in your eyes with everything I'm saying, aren't I? Oh, God. That, and you've admitted to actually having an ulterior motive for guiding us around, so... Oh, you've got it all wrong. It's nothing that'll hurt you or anything. I just... I thought I'd share some background about Cadia... Cadia City on our little tour. Sir, excuse me. Who Had beans. Uh, getting you both familiarized with the locale and everything. Before dressing you down with the who and where and stuff, I... I just wanted you two to open up to me. Th that's your ulterior motive? Well, uh, oh no, they think I'm super weird. I was way better off being a creeper. Oh gosh. Just to clarify, I'm not usually this clumsy with my words most of the time. It's, well, my mind and my mouth are just having a really off day, so I'd appreciate it if you both could stop staring at me with those looks of intense pity, because they really sting, okay? Uh, uh. Sure, but could you just hang out for, like, a second? Oh, sure, yeah. We should take her up on her offer, Ratona. We need a guide, and she seems tame enough. I concur on the lack of malintent, but there's a subtle lack of everything in general. I can't sense anything from her. 
No happiness, no anger, no sadness, just nothing. Huh? What do you propose, my lady? What do you propose, my lady? <laughs> I say we take her up on her offer because really we still need a guide. Besides, we have to find our sediment stones before anything else. Very well. However, if she initiates a suspicious line of inquiry that is too intrusive, we agree to leave her company. Does that include our names too? Realistically speaking, I don't think using pseudonyms would be feasible, especially if we fail to respond to them. We should use our first names and make no mention of our surnames. Agreed. Uh, is everything okay? Do you two need more time? Should I go grab a coffee or... Oh, sorry about that. Rune. It's Rune, right? Uh, yeah, it is, but I'd really appreciate if you didn't say it out loud very much. I mean, it's kind of a silly day, but, you know? <laughs> huh? Well, I don't think it is, but if you don't want us to call you by Rune, what name would you prefer? W what name would... Um... I'm sorry, please just call me Rune. <laughs> Then it's settled. Roo Roo and it is. Oh, my lady. We've heard that joke already. Come on, Rune, let's get the tour started. Oh, sure thing. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me literally anything. <laughs> she has such a stunning smile and she looks so elegant. Oh, I wonder if we're the same age. Hmm. Hmm. Your name's Selfine? Wow, it's such a pretty sounding name. Thank you, Rune. To be honest, I've always been quite fond of it, so please say it as much as you like. I never knew outsiders had such pretty names. Oh my gosh. So, um, what's your name? My name is Ratona. Apologize for glaring at you earlier. It was quite rude of me. I shouldn't have reacted as I did. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize. If anything, I got what I deserved. Oh, Selfine's friend is real pretty, too. <laughs> Hmm? What's the matter, Rune? Oh, it's nothing. I was just taken aback by how beautiful you both are. Oh, God, I'm such a creeper. Stop saying stuff like that. It'll make them feel so uncomfortable around you. <laughs> well, thank you for the compliment. I think you're quite beautiful yourself, Rune. More so than myself. Oh, no, no way. There's no way I'm more beautiful than you, Selfie. No, nope. Don't be silly, Rune. She's very beautiful, isn't she, Rutona? Personally, I would prefer it if you didn't put me on the spot. <laughs> While I'm still on the spot, I should mention that we're in need of a few things, Miss Rune. Oh, right! You were looking for something that you couldn't find in that pawn shop, right? Wait, you were at the pawn shop that we just left? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I... I overheard your conversation with the owner, and... I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but there was nobody else around at the time, and I thought it wouldn't hurt to tune in a little, so... Uh... I really can't sense anything problematic from her. She's so expressive, but this hollow emptiness of hers troubles me. So, uh, what exactly are you two looking for? If you could describe it, maybe I could help you find it. Hmm? Oh, certainly. We're in need of a few supplies for the long trek back to our homeland. We need a map, canteens, a sufficient supply of water, cured meat. Whoa, you need all that just to get back home, huh? Well, you're in luck, because I know where to get all that stuff. We'll stop by a few shops that carry the best of the best. Well, let's go. But we need sediment stones and clothing first. Ritona, what are you waiting for? Hurry up before you get left behind. What? They're leaving without me? Ugh. The worst. I can't believe we got all the supplies we needed. And we kept well within our budget. We have more than 300 gallows left to spend. You got all that at discount because you're with me. Believe it or not, people around here treat me unusually well. So if there's anything else you need, um, just let me know. They'll take care of it for us at a discount. Are you sure, Rune? You're not busy with anything else? Not at all. In fact, this is my day off for work, so the timing really couldn't be better. <laughs> Besides, I was the one who wanted to take you two out for a tour of the city. I think we have the supplies covered. Is there anything else we need, Ratona? Yes. Yes, there is. What's missing? The two things that still require our immediate attention. Huh? Oh. We haven't covered the sediment stones or located a boutique for clothes. <laughs> At least we've narrowed it down. Rune. Uh, yes, Miss Rotoda. Are there any shops in the city that sell sediment stones? Sediment stones? 
We're going to need them now more than ever, given the lack of mana lines within the crest of this continent. Uh, well, I do know where they sell them, but I'm not sure they'd sell those to just anybody, even if you are with me. I mean, sure, I know the person who sells them, but he's still very selective. I mean, they do fetch for a pretty high price. That won't be an issue. Just tell me where to find the store and we will handle the rest. Ritona's right, Rune. You've helped us so much already, but I can't help but feel awful. It feels like all we've done is take advantage of you. Oh, well, if that's how you really feel, then I suppose I'll have to take you both there myself. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? What? Good day to you all. What a sight for sore eyes. I haven't seen such a beautiful trio in years. A uh, good day to you. Good day to you, Missy. What can I do for you on this fine afternoon? Well, I need to speak to the owner of the establishment. You do, do you? As much as I love to oblige you, I must ask about any increase. I don't know what's happening to me. Oh, uh, you know, um... Whatever needed discussing, Rune chose not to share her reasoning. Rather, she whispered in the clerk's ear, and suddenly... <gasps> The clerk paled, jerking his head away from Rune and dashing back into the storeroom. <laughs> uh, I apologize for the holdup. If that good-for-nothing clerk of mine was being sassy, I'll, I'll... Oh, please, that won't be necessary. He wasn't sassy in the least. He was very loyal and receptive, if anything. I thought Master Zevitz would have at least given us prior notice of your arrival. If he had, I would have... Hmm? Aren't you... Aren't you Master Zevitz's... The owner's gaze appeared to scan every inch of Rune's face deeply. Oh, I'm here because he needs something specific. Specific? Did Master Zevitz send you here to conduct a surprise inspection for something specific? What is wrong with this man? He's gone off on tangent with the utterance of a single word. I'm not here to do anything like that. Accuse, deny, repeat. Does her dad, like, own this town? And that's why everybody's like, a discount for you, lol. Get the feeling, maybe. Hmm. I understand now. You two are the ones who have business with me. We apologize for causing this confusing chain of events, but we really do require your assistance. No apology necessary, miss. Any friend of Master Zevitz is a friend of mine, and all my friends are fellow merchants, so you are too. Merchants? Us? Oh right, Miss Rotoda, you were looking for two class four cuts of sediment stones, correct? You need two sediment stones, do you? Very well. I believe I have the desired class four cuts of sediment stones somewhere in storage. They've also been valued at a fair price against the current market. You! Have the guard release the lock on storage unit A. Understood. While we wait for him to retrieve the sediment stones, why don't you three join me in my personal lounge? Your personal lounge? Please, I must insist you be treated to an experience of leisure and relaxation within my establishment. It is the least I can do. Oh, okay then. Ratona, is it me or does it feel like a simple errand just turned into a really complicated chore? Yeah. I do apologize for the relatively long wait. You'll find the finest cuts of class 4 sediment stones in this case. I thought it may be to your benefit if I brought out cuts of class 1 and on as well. They each have their own separate cases. Do take your time. Oh, thank you, sir. These are beautiful, well-crafted cases, but it's hard to believe they're so valuable. What do you think of the stones, Miss Rotoda? I don't believe this. I can't tell or determine their class, or even if they're sediment stones. My diminished mana dowsing abilities. Sediment describes two subtypes of stones used by mana crafters. One is normally impervious stones, which have slowly siphoned trace amounts of mana from the underground. These are called natural sediments. Natural sediments appear no different from common stones, but are capable of siphoning all subtypes of mana, including purified mana. The other is an augmented variant of natural sediment stones, which store and replenish mana. They'll hold certain volumes of specific mana subtypes, which makes them ideal for casting Manacroft. 
Thus, they're referred to as crafter sediments. When mana crafters refer to sediment stones, they usually mean the latter. The classes of crafter sediment stones refer to the degree of mana purity retention. While they can retain all subtypes of mana, a conflict among the other subtypes may arise based on the affinity of the natural sediment stone. For example, a well-balanced natural sediment stone that is augmented into a crafter sediment stone will hold pyromana without conflicting with other mana subtypes. These are class 1 stones. However, low class stones can pollute their contents, changing the subtype of stored mana, thus making the stone unfit for precision crafting. For example, aqua mana stored in a terra aligned stone could become polluted and turn into terra mana over time. The longer the natural sediment stone is within an aligned mana stream, the greater its affinity with certain mana subtypes. Which means that the augmentation process and quality of a natural sediment stone determines its class, also affecting its chance of affinity alteration of stored mana. However, the lower the class of a sediment stone, the more difficult it is for a mana crafter to utilize. The Ruhuzawa God class 1 sediment stones are stored to their maximum capacities with purified mana for authentication before distribution. The non-elemental affiliation of purified mana proves useful in this aspect, as any affinity alteration will immediately become evident when stored into a sediment stone. This is the standard practice for identifying the quality and cuts of sediment stones. This case containing class 1 sediment stones are the easiest to identify as the purified mana stored within emits a translucent glow to the naked eye. However, these class 1 sediment stones display a slight tinge of affinity alteration. I would have des designated these as class 2 sediment stones. Hmm. Enough of the hypothetical prattle. I'm not the proprietor here. But I can't help but feel as if these clumps of dirt do nothing but soil the fine linen and interior of the cases which contain them. It's comedic, in fact. It's almost as if this proprietor had the local children fill these fine cases with every stone and dirt clump they could find. The only discernible sediment stone is this class 3 sediment stone. This appears to be the only true class 3 sediment stone amongst the rest of the rubble. You have a keen eye for quality, young lady. I would expect nothing less from an acquaintance of Master Zevitz's. This is definitely a class 3 sediment stone, and yet, there's something peculiar about the cut of it. The basic augmentation process, which transforms a natural sediment stone into a crafter sediment stone, adds protective pro 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 properties, which prevents seepage. Augmenters always incorporate a seal of some sort into their sediment stones as the final step, but this particular stone doesn't appear to have that standard seal, yet no seepage is occurring either. Wow, Miss Rotoda, color me impressed. I didn't know you could tell sediment stones apart just by looking at them. Well, I, I suppose I can, but to a certain degree. Sir, what is the price of this cut? Oh god, it's gonna be crazy. Oh, the price, how silly of me. Here it is. Beg pardon? <laughs> so many numbers! Is this what they call highway robbery? Ooh, you think so, Miss Selphine? It's actually the standard asking price for class 3 sediment stones. Again, I do feel that these sediment stones have been fairly evaluated and priced. The pawn shop proprietor wasn't speaking in jest. He really can't afford to carry anything around with this absurd of an asking price. Hmm? This class 2 sediment stone is just like... The lack of a standard seal is evident here, too. And on the class 3 and 4, what kind of augmentation process did these undergo? Is there something amiss, young lady? Well, I'm just at a loss for words to describe the strange treatment these sediment stones underwent. How should I explain it? I'm not sure. I fully understand why. Why these sediment stones lack the standard seals from the augmentation process. Why are they so complex? Without the standard seals, weak as they are, crafter sediment stones cannot store any mana subtype. Sog some augmenters intentionally incorporate unconventional skills, but I don't think that's the case here. May I presume that the young lady is very invested in these sediment stones? Miss Selfied? These are the newest prototype sediment stones created from the latest compressor available on the market. The mana compression rate is double that of anything commercially available, making them ideal when you need to store mana on the go. And it's class 3. I understand your concerns regarding the complexities of these particular seals. However, lower price means lower cut quality, making it more difficult to remove the seal. Mind you, these prototypes were designed with normal Cadians in mind. Why, sh why should we be bound by their standard seals? Young lady, you wouldn't be using the sediment stone for anything other than sheer amusement within a conventional compressor, would you? Of course not. 
What's the matter? Could... Could you tell me what a compressor is? I beg your pardon? A compressor is a device that siphons mana from the mana stream and stores them within these very sediment stones. D device? You're telling me these devices created the unusual seals on all these sediment stones. Why, yes, these devices did indeed. Then... Then these sediment stones weren't imbued with the purified mana of mana crafters. Ritona! Uh, oh, my. Gosh, Miss Selfie, you never told me Miss Ritona was a comedian. Yeah, um... Ha 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 ha! That was a very good joke. I couldn't even tell it was a joke. Your deadpan is flawless. Why, my humble establishment has no need for crafter sediment stones. The price would be astronomical. And you know what they say about mana crafters these days. Their depravity knows no limit. I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> ha 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 ha! I never thought the master had such comedic acquaintances. Without your interjection, I'm afraid I would have taken the joke seriously. What master is he referring to? Oh no! Huh? Ah! Ugh. Hmm? Ah! I forgot we had another errand to run! What? But, Miss Rune, what about our transaction? I'm so sorry, but this is one errand we can't afford to skip over. Have a good day! G good, just a moment. Miss Rune, wait! No! So maybe she works for the guy who owns this town is not related to, but works for, maybe? I don't know. Huh. <sighs> what was that all about, Rune? Yeah, that's the second time you scared me half to death today. I apologize for the unplanned escape, but the proprietor was starting to see through Miss Rotona's facade. I excuse me? Oh, it's nothing, Miss Selfie. I, I just have a tendency to think out loud on too many occasions. <laughs> But surely, there must have been a better method to conclude the transaction without interrupting it entirely. That proprietor may never be with us again. I suppose that's a possibility. I'm sorry, Miss Rotona. I've never been good at handling that sort of situation. So essentially, you're inflexible when it comes to conveying messages. You are the most peculiar person I've ever met. Uh, well, I can only hope you mean it in a positive way. I still can't believe how expensive a single class 3 sediment stone is. We couldn't afford it even with the money we started with. Well, uh, I suppose I could have... I apologize, Miss Selfie. I should have asked how much they were charging for sediment stones before you went to retrieve them. Please don't be sorry, Rune. It's not your fault that we can't afford them. If anything, we owe you for helping guide us around Katie all day. My lady is correct. I understand why you did what you did, and we're grateful for your assistance thus far. Yeah, but it doesn't help you with your sediment stone problem. You might not be able to get them here with the standard asking price being what it is. The proprietor's prices are actually at Cadia's current market values for sediment stones. Are you certain of this? Please say no. In that case, I can only hope that Selfine and I never become separated. Self Sediment stones aside, I have a very important question for you, Rune. Where can I get some sick duds? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you possess some sort of celebrity status here in Cadia? I can't help but notice that everywhere we go, everybody seems to know your name. Oh, really? Well, indeed, everyone we've encountered thus far has regarded you with incredible respect from the- Oh, 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 indeed. Everybody. Mm-hmm, respect from the moment they see you. Are you some sort of royalty, Rune? Of course not. It's just, uh, my line of work in Cadia is pretty peculiar, and, uh, unfortunately I can't really share the details. The people we've run into so far just happen to know about the nature of my work, that's all. So it's private, but everyone knows and treats you unusually well. Do you work at a brothel? Uh, oh, no, 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 you got it all wrong, Miss Selfie. How, how did you even come to that conclusion? Well, you said it's a peculiar job. That's the only conclusion that I could reach. <clears throat> Mr. Tona, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm choking on my own saliva. You came to that conclusion with that one word? I think you're taking it a little too literally, Miss Selfie. It, it doesn't matter what her job is. It's late now. That reminds me. You wanted to know more about life on the outside, right, Rune? My lady, you wouldn't. 
But we're not done shopping for your supplies yet. You still need sick duds! Well, we'll skip the sediment stones for now and head to a boutique next before dinner. We can talk all about the outside during dinner. That is, of course, if you'd like to dine with us tonight, Rune. We'd love to have her for dinner, right, Ratona? Have her for dinner, my lady? Are you serious? I'd love to, but I wouldn't want to impose any more than I already have. Oh, impose, schmimpose. You kept your end of the bargain, so we'll keep ours. That's what friends do for each other. What? Come on, you two. Let's get going to a boutique. What? Understood, my lady. Friends! I have friends! Ugh! Ugh! 